I'm gonna go check this out and just kind of I mean this is clearly like a recreational it's an area that is Just thinking, just a minute ago, how I'd really like to camp next to running water tonight. It's just kind of fun. This this seems a little too on the beaten path. It's pretty though. What do you say we do like a little B-roll montage? Now where were we? Oh yeah, we were doing a time lapse to illustrate the passing of time. So at Expo West, our toothbrushes, I kind of decided they were looking a little, anyway, I threw them away. And I didn't remember that until last night when I went to brush my teeth. So I'm here at, I think this place is called Sunrise Grocery. It's like two super, I, it's very small. I don't know if they sell toothbrushes, but I'll tell you, I also want some milk because I'm gonna twist up my dinner tonight a little bit and do something I've never done on the show before, which you should be excited about because you guys are always like, you should try something different to eat. I just don't really care to cook, but I'm gonna try something different tonight. Let's go see if they have any, um, actually, I'm not gonna take you with me. I'm gonna go see if they have any toothbrushes. I'll be right back. All right, so they actually had everything I needed, toothbrushes, plus I wanted to get these little like toothbrush cover thingamajiggers. And uh, I don't really need the little toothpaste, but that'll work. And I got some milk, which I need to put in the fridge. That was pretty much the cutest country store I've ever seen in my entire life. And actually I was talking to the owner proprietor and he was telling me that they were just voted the cutest country store in the South from Southern Living. And uh, of course he was very humble and he said, I, I mean, of course I think it's, but I'm sure there's cute. I actually, I've never seen a country store this cute. Let me show you. <laughs> I tell you isn't that place cute apparently everybody else thinks so as well so uh yeah you know from one small business owner to another great work if you happen to be in the area make sure you stop by and uh do some business with these guys their toothbrushes were very well priced and the milk was great and i'm actually kicking myself in the pants right now for getting any not getting any produce because probably should i think i'm gonna go get some peaches I think I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put, put you back in the car because anyway. Oh man, I think, I don't remember if I told you, but I had to go back in and get, I had, I just, oh man, they smell so good. So I think that if you can smell a peach from the outside without taking a bite from it, it should be, let's see. Oh man. Oh man. Did you see the juice in there? It's like, it's 
It's like a puddle of juice inside this little peach crater I created. Mm. And I bought an apple pie for dessert later. Mm -hmm. This is this is right up there with one of the best peaches I've ever had. And I'm not just saying that. I'm going to do something gross. You ready? Oh, look at that. The pit came right out. I wish the technology was there to like convey the amount of deliciousness through, through the screen, through the camera and into your mouth because that the smell, the taste, oh man, that was, that was amazing. Hopefully this thing is just as delicious. I'm gonna save this for later. Put it for safekeeping right there. Hopefully it doesn't get smushed or I think it'll be all right. Hopefully I'm not on this road long because like, um, you know, it's pavement and I'm still aired way down. I don't, I don't air back up and air back down and air, I don't do that whenever I'm on these trips, unless I think I'm gonna be on pavement for like a while, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think this stretch of pavement is very long, maybe a couple of miles and I'm just gonna keep it, you know, around 30, 35. The unfortunate thing is I'm probably annoying the people behind me, but <clears throat> I mean, it's gonna take me 15 minutes to stop, pull out my stuff, air it back up, all to drive a few miles and then um, get back on dirt and air back down again. So I'd rather just um, I'd rather just keep it slow and uh, and just and just keep keep going. I guess that's what the passing lanes are for. You know, we just had some, and I'm just obviously I'm slowing down so people can pass. Perfect. Oh, we put the uh, deposit down for that house. So fingers crossed. Probably I'll wash this, but I don't care. I'm hungry and it's just too good. Hatchet Creek Falls. I thought I saw something about a falls. What do you say we go check it out? I want to check it out. People like, like slide down this. Check this out. So that's uh, probably just enough playing in the water for the day, but I'll tell you what, I have a swimsuit and I'm tempted to go get it because that water feels really good. Got my foot all wet, I'm trying to get that last shot, which is one of the reasons I wear Chacos. It feels so good, like right here, I could feel like cold air 
coming towards me. I love this. Something about this reminds me of like Middle Earth, but not like the weird, scary, dark parts of Middle Earth, like the places where the hobbits would live. Remember the cute little hobbits? Hello. Well, Helton Creek Falls, you were a real treat. If you've never been to uh, Helton Creek, I highly recommend it. Oh, and um, the GPS coordinates of where we're at, so in case you wanna come here on your own, that's, that's where it's at. So it remains to be seen on whether or not, uh, I, I, let's just say I, I'm not sure what the, what the casualties are gonna be yet. The, the microphone, the microphone got wet. I'm drying it out, maybe it'll work out. The lens and the connections, they got, the lens got really wet too. I pulled it off, there was a little bit of water inside the camera. I'm not sure that this, uh, that this wide angle lens, well, the wide angle lens didn't get wet because it wasn't on the camera whenever it fell. But uh, if the audio is bad, it's because I don't have a microphone plugged in. This is just the onboard camera microphone. You may be wondering, uh, by the way, why I'm um, why I'm topless. I'll tell you. Tonight, I was going to shower, but do you see that down there? I mean, it's it's not exactly deep enough for me to um, fully immerse myself. But I think, I think I'm gonna take a bath down there because I'm hot and sweaty, I feel dirty and gross, and that water's freezing cold and it's probably gonna be really refreshing. Anyway. So Not too shabby, huh? what I was having hankered for and I had it in here for the I guess from the last camp out with the boys when we went to uh, Overland Expo West and we didn't have any milk so we couldn't make any mac and cheese but I got some up today so the camera is doing some weird stuff um, I, I got it to come on it and it's working at the moment but it wasn't working a second ago so I'm actually going to tell you one little thing because I, I just, I wanted to share this with you. The trick to perfect mac and cheese is to get the water boiling, pour the pasta in, get the water boiling again, turn the heat off completely, put the top on the, the pan thing, like I said, no heat, leave it for 10 minutes, exactly. Not a minute too long, not a minute too short, and it will be perfect every time. You won't burn the pasta, you won't overcook it, and I just wanted to share that with you because Grandma Kirchy, Grandma Kirchy taught me that when I was a kid, and it's always worked. 
Actually, it works for all pasta, by the way. It works for all pasta that I've done. I don't cook lots of pasta. That's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Sorry the audio is bad. We'll see you in the next video. No, I won't forget. I just talk slow. Yeah, I know you're mine. I need you. So I'll just. Test, test, one, two. Test, test, one, two. Test, test, one, two. Test, test, one, two. Okay, so uh, it is the next morning and it's a little less little before 8 a.m. I just powered everything on. The microphone, it seems to be working. I'm not confident that it's working. I can hear it through the little tiny itty bitty speaker on the camera, but um, hopefully it's working. Uh, the lens, I'm not sure if it's, if it's working. It continues to switch over to manual focus. Um, see here, this guy right here. And this is, uh, by the way, um, this is the Leica uh, 16, no, 12 to 60 lens. It's, I love it. It's one of my favorite lenses ever. So I'll be replacing it if, if I can't get it to work. Plus I have a couple little scratches on the, on the actual lens itself, the glass itself. <sighs> That's the way the cookie crumbles.